Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and you can see three different locks in front of us here. But do you know what they all have in common? Well, that's right, this will come as no surprise to anybody who works construction, but they all use exactly the same key. So have a vintage uh, Caterpillar brand padlock made in the US, and this works with uh, this key. Then I've got the more modern Caterpillar brand padlock, and this also works with this key. And I have an ignition switch for uh, Caterpillar equipment, and this is the same that you'd probably find on uh, a dozer, an excavator, a loader, um, anything really that does a cat make. And yep, that also works. So this isn't unique to Caterpillar. And as anybody who works construction might be able to tell you, uh, there are other brands as well that also operate off the same key. And you might think, well, isn't that a bit of a security flaw? And yes and no. Um, the, the truth is, if you have an expensive piece of equipment, uh, you don't just secure it by its, uh, its own locks inside the machinery. And some of them now have keypads with pin codes and all sorts of secondary um, locking mechanisms. But when you think about how many people are using a piece of equipment on a construction site, often in shifts over long periods of time, what you don't want to do is somebody just taking a key home and maybe taking the spare key home and somebody else takes the key or loses it in the mud and then what you can't operate any equipment. So um, it's possible to just buy uh, these keys online. I mean, this is only really just to, the keys are only really there just to, to make sure people don't just casually start up a piece of uh, dangerous equipment, I guess, because quite often operating them and moving them is a skill in itself. It, they can be dangerous to uh, operate if you don't know what you're doing. They're huge, big, and often very slow. And sometimes to move a, a big piece of equipment, you even need to take it apart. So uh, yeah, it's it's not really as big a security concern as all that. And you know, these companies have been doing this for many, 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 many years. And it does allow people who operate these or, or even own these pieces of equipment to just buy um, a whole load of these keys if they need to to make sure there's always spares because what you don't want to do is shut down a massive operation just because a few operators have lost or damaged or taken home um, a bunch of your keys. Since we have these three locks here um, I think we should do three different sorts of ways of picking them. So, so first up, we'll try and rake this vintage padlock. I actually quite like this. Got to be a bit aware of where the wafers are in the lock, so you can just look down and make sure that the uh, sort of top of the wafers, where the key would strike, would be here, and uh, just give it a bit of a rake. I'm using a snake rake profile. So, uh, some relatively moderate tension. Give it a rake, there we go, and got that open. Like I said, it's only little wafer locks, they're not particularly hard. Next up, the more modern style. Uh, there might be an even new one. This one has no sort of dirt flap or dust flap. Uh, it just has this little bend over thing. I don't really like that so much. I uh, prefer the sort of standard dust flap or shutter here. But, you know, we can put tension in like that and we should be able to single wafer pick this. So do a bit of this, and I'm going to use a notched tip like this monkey paw, and uh, that's really good at locating itself onto each of the binding wafers. And let's have a go through, so it's already in wafer three. Wafer at the back, this is wafer, I think it's wafer four. One, and we're open. And last but not least, we've got some Jiggler keys here. Uh, I mean, I've been successful with a number of these different profiles, so uh, I guess I'll choose this one. This one has some nice strong ups and downs. It only has a, and you see here with the actual key, a quarter turn almost, like that. So it doesn't take much to move it. So it's gonna pop in a Jiggler key and we're just going to go in and give it a wriggle like this and we already have the open. So there you go. Those are the three caterpillar locks that I have. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed and want to see more content like this, then please do consider subscribing. It really helps my channel out. And of course, I'll see you all next time.